All right, so I'm going to start this After Effects since they decided to change up some of the looks of After Effects. So first off, we're going to say New Competition, Composition, been a long day. And I'm pretty much setting the defaults here, but it could be different on your computer. Computer 1920 by 1080. And then I checked the resolution at half, so just so it's faster for my computer. And then at one second, make sure it's not one hour or one minute. Make sure your one is in the correct location for that one second. So it should be two zeros, then the one. And background color is black. And I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to start setting up this project. As you know, I have nothing in my layers over here and nothing in this project part. So what I'm going to do first is go to Layer, New, Solid. For this one, I did um, like a pale gray color. Again, doesn't really matter on the color. I just chose pale gray so I can cast shadows. And then I'm going to say OK. It's going to fill your entire page. Make sure you're at 100%. So when you go to rotate it, you can actually tell that you're rotating it. So in order to rotate this, we have to use the rotate tool and we need to make it 3D. In order to make it 3D, you have to right click on this layer and make it a 3D layer. Now I'm able to use that rotation tool and hover over X and start to turn. Again, it's however you want it to look, I'm happy with. So once I have it rotated, then I want to move it down. Just know that you can't move it down with the rotation tool. So now I'm going to use that selection tool, click on the Z, and bring my floor down to the bottom. Something about that. So right now I just have one layer, which is the floor. Now I need to bring in my name. So I'm going to go on the text layer. I'm going to come over here. I, I used Arial Black just because it's a very bold font. I, my font size is very large. It's at like 280. Uh, I believe since I did this project on here already, it's just whatever your settings for the last project you did. So your default might be 12 points or 12 pixels. So just make sure when you go to type that it is large enough. I'm going to drag this over here. Again, I have white font. Um, you'll see why we have white font so later because we are going to bring in a light and a camera. So again, I have my text size at 283. My fill is going to be white. My out, my stroke here is at none. And then I'm on Arial. So the first thing you're going to do is going to move this anchor point because your anchor point is probably going to be located off center. Mine is center just because I think I just did this project. So again, it's showing the standard. So in order for me to move that point, you're going to go to the pan behind. So I'm going to come in here and change the pan behind, and I'm going to center this rotation point so then it pivots from the center instead of the bottom or from the right or left. I want it to be right there in the center. All right, now I have my layer, my text layer, and then my floor. Now I need to add two more layers. One is going to be a light and one's going to be a camera. So I'm going to go to layer, new, light. I'm going to set it to light yellow. Cast shadows needs to be checked. And uh, light type is spot. I'm going to say OK. And then again, I'm going to bring this light over to the corner. So I'll bring it over and then up. I'm going to drag these points out. And sometimes it takes me a little bit to get exactly kind of where I'm looking for it. All right, I'm going to call that good. So I have a light layer. Now I just need to add a camera layer. And I just leave everything at default and say, OK. We have to add the camera in order to record the animation that we're getting ready to do. So now I'm going to look at my name. And I'm going to update it um, on a few things. So first, I need to make it a 3D layer. So I get those options right here. I'm going to go to Geometry Options. I'm going to add a bevel, say so Angular. And I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to do around 8. Again, your preference uh, on whatever kind of bevel you want to do. And then most important, I do an extrusion depth. I did mine around 50. Again, it's up to you. 
basically this is giving thickness to your name so it's just not flat and then lastly there's material options here on this thing you just need to turn on your cast shadows that's most important and then with these other ones just play around with them and see what they do um, that's the only way you're going to be able to tell like what each one of these settings do and then you can kind of play around with these settings once you're satisfied with these settings you're done manipulating your name so now we can actually go to the animation part so under my text layer I'm gonna to go to transform and I'm looking at this Y rotation I need to make sure my blue scrubby that's not a professional um, term but it's what I use I call it the blue scrubby because you can scrub through the animation I need to make sure it's at the beginning of my uh, timeline and I'm gonna click on the little stopwatch on the Y rotation which gives me a keyframe so it tells it hey this is what I want it to look like at the first frame All right now I'm gonna drag my blue scrubby to the very end and all I'm gonna do now is come in here and say I want it to rotate once by the time it gets to the end so one full complete circle and you're gonna see it render it takes a little bit to render I'm gonna drag this over to here and hit play in the preview as you can see it you know takes a little bit some computers are gonna be faster than the others I think my light is off a little bit as you can see it's a little dark on this end so I'll probably need to adjust my light yay as you can see there it goes so now that I've done with my um, animation I probably would go back and finish fix the light a little bit now I'm going to just save it as a regular file file save my name 3d okay and then now I'm going to export it this is the file that I'm going to need I do not need your After Effects file I just gonna need your exported file that you rendered out so I'm going to come up here to file export add to render queue and it's going to change it my bottom tier no longer is a timeline it's now the render queue so the first thing I'm going to do is change is what the output file is because I want to be able to find this so I'm going to choose my desktop again I'm going to name it my name 3d Oops. and that's really the only settings you need to really change and then you're going to hit render and here you're seeing see how quick it renders out because it's only a second long your computer could take longer sometimes they take 10 minutes you might have to walk away um, just depends on the how fast your computer is all right so now that's sitting on my desktop oh but maybe it's not saved all the way oh because i'm using quicktime i cannot open it so i'm recording it through quicktime right now um so i can't i'm ordering uh i can't talk right now i am using the screen capture through quicktime so i cannot open my file but this is a file that you would then upload to turn in all right hopefully that helps um the only other thing that i think that it didn't cover was when you're under a new project when we first set this up With, with, with 3D Renderer, make sure it says Cinema 4D right here, not the three classic 3D. So again, that's in when we set up the very first thing. And I also think you can change it after. Um, but again, hopefully this tutorial was a lot better than the other one, seeing that it's um, After Effects has updated their, uh, their screens. All right, have a good day.